So one thing we need to do first is to configure eGit. So I'm going to go to Window and Open Perspective. I'm going to go to Other. I'm going to select Git Repository Explorer. And I'll click OK. It'll give us this uh, error message here. It says the environment variable home is not set. The following directory will be used for storing Git user configuration. Uh, and it says that's not correct, then just change that. That's not really that important, so I'll say don't show again. And I'll say OK. OK. So. <coughs> Now the other thing we might see here is um, we have, um, so the Git repository view, I should say, um, has a list of Git repositories. At the moment, there's nothing in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to our class website and I'm going to show you what we need to do in order to uh, clone a project. So let's go over here. I'm going to go to our website, click this. And I'm going to let's see, I need to find so we'll just start viewing assignments. Oops. And I'm gonna scroll down here. And I copied this link here, so it's this uh, we're gonna need this link here. And we're gonna click on that and copy. So it's we're going to need this URL in order to uh, clone a repository. So I'm going to click over here into Eclipse, and I'm going to um, go to this link here. That's the, we have three Git links. We have add, clone, and create a new repository. We want to clone, which is this middle link here. All right, and it looks like, OK, it just automatically pasted it in for me. So um, if it didn't for you, just paste there. Okay, no big whoop. Um, so this is the URL. It's uh, ssh colon slash slash uh, my website um, or my site slash var slash git comp285 um, and we're gonna, instead of saying Wentworth login here we're going to replace that with our Wentworth login. So for me that's oops. okay so you gotta change that for your own situation. Um, okay so now I'm going to say, uh, put my username and password here. Uh, <coughs> okay. And I'll say next. And yeah, the first time you should just say yes. And just say yes. And yes. Great. All right, so we should see this if it's working properly. We'll say next, and okay, I'm good. I'll say next. Um, okay, I'm done here, so I'm gonna click finish, and there we go. So now we've cloned a repository. So you might need to review somebody else's code. Me, I'll just review. Um, Suppose I want to review somebody else's repository. I go back into Clone Git Repository, and instead of putting in <coughs> my own login, I'll put someone else's login here. So, okay, um, and so I just entered somebody else's login. Um, I'm gonna put my username and password here, but uh, or else actually I can just put next, and it'll prompt me for my. <clears throat> I'll go back. Put my username and password here. And I'll say next. And okay. So I'll say next over here. And I'll finish up here. And it'll pull in, it'll clone this person's repository as well. So, and uh, so there we go. That's how you clone a repository. Now, 
suppose you need to look at someone's assignment. So click over here. We'll expand this. We'll expand this over here. Um, I need to figure out what I want to do by looking at the README file. So if I double click here, um, it'll say, um, it'll tell me which things I want to review. So this person is telling me to review assignment zero and assignment one. And we're naming things this way. So we have assignment zero zero, assignment zero one, along with the last, or sorry, with the um, Wentworth login here. Uh, the reason, we'll see why this is in a moment, so, um, but we need to keep to this naming scheme. So if I want to, by the way, if I want to import these projects, what I can do is this. I can I go to working directory, I'll right click here, and I'll say import projects. So I just went to working directory under, so this is under my um, repository. By the way, a repository is a place, this is for clone, that's, um, it stores revisions. So I'll right click on the working directory, click on import projects. Oh, okay, so now we'll just say next. And if I want to, I can select everything, or I can just select the ones I, that I need. Um, <coughs> and I'll click finish here. So now um, I need to go, uh, so I, I'm still in the, um, what's known as the Git repository perspective. I want to switch back to the Java perspective, which is how I can edit source code. So I'm going to go to uh, Window and Open Perspective, and I'll say Other. Um, I'm going to select Java, which is the default. I'm going to click OK. Okay. So I'll close out of here. So here we go. Um, and now I can um, expand these guys over here. So I, I just click on my little triangle here. If I double click on Hello World, um, there we go. That's, uh, I guess, the first assignment of printing it Hello World. Um, running this program is rather straightforward. I can just click on Run, and there we go.